Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try this TGI Friday's meal. This one is the chicken, chicken fettuccine alfredo, spicy Cajun style. It says it's a seasoned diced grilled white meat chicken in an alfredo sauce over pasta. It is frozen, of course. 10.5 ounces or 297 grams for the meal. We bought this at Walmart. It was $5.94, so it gives you the price for it. Uh, 410 calories for the entire bowl. There's your other info for you. I've noticed most of these frozen meals that are like this size are about five fifty to six dollars here lately. So it's just price of meals have went up, right? Um, so it says Friday's just got a little bit hotter with our deliciously cheesy, creamy, and spicy Cajun style sauce packed with tender and juicy all white meat chicken meat, all white meat chicken layered on top of perfectly cooked fettuccine. So sounds good. So we're going to lift the vent, lift the film edge to vent. I cannot read today. Lift the film edge to vent. Microwave for four minutes, lift the film and stir the microwave for another 30 seconds. I'm assuming you recover it um, after you stir it. And then remove from microwave and let it sit for a minute or two before you actually eat it. And like I said, this is a frozen dinner, um, a frozen meal. So here's what it looks like. So I'm going to vent it. They got a little, a bigger tab on this side. I'm just going to pull it up to vent it. There's what the sauce looks like. Uh, I'm going to get the microwave all the way back. Okay, so here it is out of the microwave. I did let it sit for a minute. It's still got a little bit of uh, moisture and a little bit watery, but it's not bad. I think if I stir it up really good, it'll be fine. But you can see these huge pieces of chicken. Look at that big hunk of chicken right there. I just knocked a piece out. <laughs> get back in there. So yeah, there's some decent sized pieces of chicken in there. There's uh, quite a bit of pasta in there. Um, you can see the Cajun seasoning, that kind of orangey kind of color. So anyway, I'm going to take this over the table and we'll give it a try. Okay, here we go. Um, it doesn't smell too spicy. It says spicy Cajun. It didn't smell spicy at least. I do get some seasonings, but not like, it doesn't smell hot. So, but we'll see. Here we go. That was a big bite. Um, you definitely get the Cajun like seasonings from those, kind of like the pepper the, and the cayenne and stuff like that. It is spicy, so you do get that burn in the back of your throat. It just doesn't smell like um, doesn't smell like pepper spice, if that makes sense. But it does does have some heat in the back of your throat. So if you don't like hot food, you won't you won't like this at all. Even for a big piece of chicken like that, um, it was really good and tender. And um, yeah, it wasn't dry at all. It was, and like I said, it was a pretty good size hunk. Um, plenty of moisture there, lots of flavor. It's, it's actually a really good, nice piece of chicken in there. And it's, like I said, it's pretty good size. Now you may want to cut some of those big pieces in half to make it go further. Um, I just happened to try one just because I wanted to see what it was like. Um, the, the fettuccine noodles are very, very long fettuccine noodles. So you'll have to, Kind of roll them up on your fork or cut them in half or whatever. Overall pretty nice. The uh, the temperature is perfect um, as far as the, the four and a half minutes that it went in. Perfect time because it's very well cooked and um, plenty hot enough. And the, there's a little bit of moisture on the bottom but it adds into the sauce so it's fine. Texture-wise, the pasta is cooked perfectly. It's it's uh, it's not mushy. It's not hard or crunchy. It's it's very very nicely cooked. The chicken is really uh, good and tender. Like I said, so so the texture is spot on. It's really really nice. Um, Flavor-wise, it does have that Cajun um, spices flavor. So if you've ever had anything um, Cajun spice, then then you'll know what this is like. Trying to see if it has anything. Hmm. I don't know what the spices are, so you'd have to look them up. You can look at the ingredients in the back once you once you get to the end of the video if you want to see what spices they are. If they even say them, they're too small for me to read. Um, I think it's good. I think it is a little spicy, but it's not like overpoweringly spicy. It's not so spicy that you can't eat it. It's it's, it's a nice spice. So if you like a little bit of heat in your food. 
I think you'll be fine with it. Um, just know that the fettuccine, they could have cut it in little smaller pieces. I mean, that's some big pieces of fettuccine. Um, unless you really like the big pieces, long pieces of fettuccine, you just, uh, just know that they are pretty long. I would probably go through with my fork and cut them all up um, if I were to eat this again. And I've been eating bites with a piece of chicken pretty much in every bite. And I still have tons and tons of pieces of chicken in here. So good amount of chicken in here too. So that, that's a nice, that's nice to know because sometimes they, um, sometimes they short you on the, the actual chicken. They give you tons of pasta, they give you like two or three pieces of chicken. And um, they didn't do that with this. They really give you uh, quite a bit of chicken. So for me, this meal is probably more like a, I don't know, it's like a four out of five. I really do like the flavors. I like the spices, I like the seasonings. Um, like I said, I don't know exactly what they are. I definitely get a cayenne kind of pepper flavor. Um, maybe some garlic, some onion in there. But it definitely has that Cajun spice kind of flavor, that kind of uh, uh, smoky cayenne kind of flavor. So I do like it quite a bit. So four out of five for me, I would eat this again anytime. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.